Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. The giant cybernetic snail approaches. Okay. And it gets into position. Uh, it's in the ambush position. It is. That's it. Yeah, I guess as it gets there, I want to do my sneak attack and stab it. Okay, can what I see the under positions fill? right, right? I just want to make sure the positions are right here. Yeah. No one's lined Spread up in with a gun, shape. right? Well, let's yeah, uh, take a look. We'll do <laughs> just, a, a wee yes, doodle please. over here. By like, all means, Will, you can take it in a second, but I just want to make sure we're not lined up. <laughs> I mean, it's got to kick off somehow, sorry. True. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you, you're good, moving, you're good. I just want to confirm. So if these are like elevation lines of the mountain, okay. um, mm -hmm. you know, and then the bottom part is all swampy swamp. And let's see, the section that you were, let's do, um, so the, this green area down here that will show up in just a minute when I'm done doodling it is yeah. going to be the predominantly, like the more swampy land and the gray stuff is going to be the drier land. And there's still going to be like pockets of dryness even within the <clears throat> even within the swamp. Right. I thought at this point it was more like ponds than Yeah, but that that's that's above this line right here. These elevation line. The scale on this is a little wonky apparently. Well, you mean yeah, it's that, nine miles that long. scale's real weird. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> And we'll say each one of these lines is like a, a 10 foot elevation gain. And mm -hmm. instead of expressing these in miles, these will be in yards. So this is 16 yards across. And this would be- So then there's, it's actually a very abrupt change. I mean, what were the, I mean the... it's difficult to make a, a very detailed and sensible map. So we're just gonna, you know. If only you had some And what were these, maps. I missed that. Yeah, but there's no swamp maps with like a nice mountain side that gets mm -hmm. rid of it, you know? All right, all right. Yeah, it's frustrating. But what were anyway. the uh, circles below in the grass? Or... Oh, those are dry oh, land water. and within oh, dry. the dry water. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The green just is wanna, the... Just yeah, yeah. Okay. Where's um, Snally Snail? I am finding a picture of <laughs> Cyborg Snail. Can no. you just give him a token, please? I'm looking for a token. Thank no, you very much. No, not the snail. The, the, the um, snail. Our Torin. <laughs> this dude. Me. Why doesn't he have a token? What's wrong with him? <laughs> He's just drawing it face. <laughs> just drew it beautiful. last time. But I've got one somewhere. I just He's didn't beautiful. put it out last time. I like it. <laughs> Hold on. That, this one isn't as good as my last one. We're going to have to redo a little bit. Uh, All right. Okay, there's a the snail. Giant snail, yeah, yeah, and it's come to uh, about yay here, I guess, is the ambush spot yeah. where it is. Yeah. Can we see its tail on it, or is it all in the shell except the head? It is all within the shell, and there's uh, like, how, you know, how's it moving then? Well, the Magic. the foot of the snail runs along here, under the shell. Right, it doesn't need a tail out the back. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I thought you were talking like all of the snail. It's like, like... I mean, the exposed bit that we can see is the head, though. Yeah. Yes. The sides of it are, the sh whole shell is uh, iron or some sort of silver or some sort of metallic thingamajobber. So the shell looks pretty impenetrable, but the softness of the head is not. Who is this? Uh, I can't, okay. <laughs> is this you? <laughs> yeah, but I could, yeah, there we go. Try and get the token. Yeah, it's version of him to work. <laughs> um, and yeah, we did pick the ambush spot, right? So I'm assuming yeah, yeah. plays with like trees or swamp water or something. Like, what do we pick, everyone? Um, somewhere where we can run up to him and we don't have to run through a whole bunch of water, yeah. I'd assume. I mean, if the snail yeah. came from this direction around that edge, who is this? Oh, I haven't moved it in position. Oh, yet. okay, oh, perfect. Yeah. Let's yeah. move you That's somewhere oh. else. Yeah, yeah, I've moved away. I'm seeing so I count... following our smell, it probably went to exactly on our path, so we'd probably be able to get the smell exactly where we'd want it as well. So one, two, three, four people. There's a fifth. Ah, uh, mech, there we are. Yeah. I'm where are you? Um, but yeah, everybody's... Would you want him on the hill like that? Because 
like again, yeah, either by trees or in swampy land would be my vote. Anyone? Let it be Laura. Yeah. You guys are cool. I, I would vote for one of those two. Matter to you, Quantum? What? What, um, what uh, what's the lost what spot? Terrain what's the that we would have lured him to? Um I would want him near at least like a tree or two. Like yeah. understand that this is transitioning to uh rocky landscape, but I want him at least near a tree. I would agree. Alright. Uh, well you guys have an ambush, so PCs go first. Go. Uh do we get any surprise bonuses? Yes, oh, it did fail its surprise check. You will get uh, plus one for surprise as you leap out of hiding. Excellent. Okay. I would like to um, do a, Can I do a called shot to get underneath its shell and into like the soft gooey part under the foot beneath the shell? Uh, you know that'll I'll... just be a regular attack. You'll just have to be like at its front. So right. it doesn't have any of the like foot underneath it. So like sure. So you, you want like come to the side and try and attack just that narrow foot. Well, I want to get like underneath here at the front. Like, hold on. I want to get like right in there, but like mm. under the shell. Right. Yeah, but you from can. The top side. It'll yeah. have like we'll consider that like um, I don't know, seventy five percent cover just because it's mostly in cover at that point. The shell is basically impenetrable. Yeah, but I want to go right underneath it, though, right? Right, right. So you're uh, you're making a called shot against something that is yeah. like mostly hidden. So, so uh, minus four is what you're saying, or minus four is fifty percent. Minus seven is seventy five percent hidden, which will reflect the like the very edge of the snail. Probably doesn't matter if you hurt it. So you're trying to like get that one shot that actually does real damage rather than just like making nicks at its edge. I think All is right, what we're talking fine. about. So it's a minus four total on this roll. Okay. So it's just a d20. All right. So our players are making attacks. Fennel form doesn't matter what the bonuses are. You come up against the snail, uh, and its movement is the, the shell sort of gives like a a little bit of a wobble as it walks. And as you come up to make your attack, it like wobbles towards you, and your whole your whole attack schematic is thrown off. And you clatter against the snail and try and stab at its area, maybe cutting through some of the soft, goopy parts with your, what is your weapon of choice? A glaive. A glaive? Yeah, so the glaive is like hitting the ground and cutting into the edge of the snail, but it's just not really like doing real damage. You slice up the edge of it, but it seems to not even give a shit. So Move in. So before anyone Move. else attacks, I'd want to cast light in his eye stalks. Yeah, totally. You cast light at the eye stalks of the snail, hoping indeed those are stalks for eyes. True. The snail will roll not that great, but it's actually got a lot of hit dice, so it's saving throw versus spell is a pass anyway. Oof, damn. So now there's just light right by its eyes. Mm. Yeah, it's just well lit now. Yeah. Very well illuminated snail, handsome snail in this great lighting. Mm. Excellent. Well. While Some might even uh, call it a sexy snail. <laughs> well, while it is uh, uh, illuminated, I'm going to take my shots at its head, the exposed part that's yep. easier to hit. Yep. Um, all right. So. Yep. The Towards this front end, the this little dude right here, not a problem. Your arrow yeah. sinks into it. Oh, perfect. Uh, don't worry. There's four more to come. All right, so six damage. Is that is that a hit? Hold on. Oh uh, yeah, I guess you can take all your attacks right now. Twelve is a hit as well. Perfect. Yeah. Twenty is a hit. Does not clear uh, by no ten. Hit. Okay, so let's see. The got eleven or twelve AC. Perfect. Twelve is a hit. I think last that's one. That's four. That's four damage rolls right there. Yep. You get five uh, get attacks. Five. Yep. Remind us how you get five attacks per round. All right. So, uh, naturally, Nakfer gets, uh, I have a pool of three or five. So plus two when Shag and Nakfer Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, the bite counts as two. Claw attack counts as one. Uh, shooting the spine, which is basically a crossbow, counts as one. So I can do a barrage of five crossbow shots. 
So you're sitting on Nicrofur with like an automatic crossbow that reloads itself, just firing bolt after bolt after bolt into the snail. Essentially, yes. Okay. Well, you hit it for a crap load of damage. The snail's yep. head like automatically starts to recoil. You guys can get the rest of your round, your surprise round off as the thing senses the danger and pulls into its iron shell. The rest of the party, please make your moves. Um, is anybody else going? Did anybody else have range? I, think I got no so range. It's only two of you left, I think. All right, yeah, at this point, you and me. at this point, I'll charge in. Then I'll do a, a charge against the the head. Give me and, a roll to uh, hit. I will make my four attacks. Four? Oh, because you've got attacks. so many limbs. Yes. He's a truck yeah. king. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I don't even use a bite. I just I just use my my arm. I, I think it's 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 undignified to bite people. <laughs> right? right. It really <laughs> it's is. It's undignified. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, one, two, hit, hit, three, hit, four. hit. My God. Hit. Uh, four hits. Well. Wow. Yep. Ow. I mean, it's a giant um, snail, right? It's yeah. kind of soft and easily exposed. Wow. Uh, All right. near so to minimum damage. damage. Wow. Yeah. But the he's still snails. Front area is a bloody, slimy mess with weird, clearish, yellowish snail fluids mixing in with its already like sludgy, uh, sticky, mucusy front as the the head recoils into the shell. Yeah, yeah, I keep my distance. I like I see there's two guys at the front. Now I don't want to make a third one to make an arc or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Any other players? Any other actions? Mech? I think, we uh, I think I we I get off right? my horse. I did light, or is this another turn? Oh, no, the same That's turn, right? I forgot about yeah, your light. Same turn. Yeah. You dismount your horse. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's roll initiative. The snail rolls kind of slow, unsurprisingly, but its whole head <laughs> is retracted into its body by now. Um, yeah. Gets a 16 Are... on initiative, I think. Are natural attacks uh, speed three? Yes, uh, uh, unless your size creature, yes. large, in which case it's six. Okay. Five, or six. Right. Are you a medium creature? Trichina. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Tri- okay. yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, For some reason, I thought they were large. I believe I'm the only large boy here today. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, the monstrous manual has Thrykeen as large. I'm surprised the Mills oh. of Powers doesn't. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought it would. Yeah. It might be oh. then, yeah. I'll add two to that. Or it's five is large? Six or is large. Six is large. Okay, so add three to that. Yeah, I mean, the skills and power might have them listed as medium. It's, there's not always agreement between the oh, books. Oh, yeah. It was, it was large in skills and power, too. Okay. Was, okay. Yeah. Because oh, I just looked up. Looked it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, no one gets uh, slower than a 16, right? Correct. I tried well my best. Then. Party. Go for it. Yeah, you did. Uh, so it is completely withdrawn into its shell. Completely within its shell. <laughs> the, little, um, the little lightning rod thing isn't poking out. Uh, the lightning rods on the sides of its shell are still sticking out, but those are like metallic beams attached to the edge of the metallic shell. Oh, the way you're talking about it, I thought it was like attached to its head. No, 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 attached to the sides but of the shell, the either side of the shell, sort of like, um, Got it. you know, the, the guns on the AT walkers. Yeah, and they're they're like Got it. fixed forward, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Got it. I'll call out, hey, hey, Moo Man, see if you can... Uh, Knock it down on its side so we can get it its underside. And I will hold my turn until after he takes his action. Um, I'm gonna get a run behind the shell. I I, I don't want to be in front of this guy, so I'm gonna run run on the back. What level are you, uh, Brian? I'm level one. Okay, good. I'm just reading the skills and powers Thrykeen. At fifth level, you get a paralyzing bite, save versus poison, or be paralyzed for 2d8 rounds. I don't care. Someone's I would, dying. I don't just innately? I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to do that, though. I wouldn't. I wouldn't that, that's just cheating. 
It's not. Oh, we'll prevent that cheating. We're just gonna kill you before <laughs> fifth level. And Neil says he doesn't kill me deliberately. Um, no, I don't kill you deliberately, but I'll kill the paralyzing you just do it creature yourself. deliberately. <laughs> Dodge so. missiles. Racial proficiency with chakras. Crystalline yeah. throwing weapons. Holy shit. Yeah. I, Sorry, look at the psionic stuff too, Neil. <laughs> they don't have psionics. They have I know, no you made, psionics. I rolled for it and you said if I had rolled, I thought no I would have killed me on the psionics. spot. Wow. I can't even throw anything. I took like flaws, no ranged weapons. I can't even do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your efforts. I'm going to make sure you still die. Anyway, uh, uh, sorry, players go ahead. <laughs> 15, 7, and 6, and 5. What are you doing, yeah, Chad? So, uh, like I said, I tell the Minotaur to try and knock it down on its side, and then I'll hold my action until after the Minotaur goes. Mm -hmm. Or at least attempts to knock it down. Because I'm assuming okay. that it's, it's like this, uh, basically it's standing up. Like it's rolled into its shell, and then if you knock it down on the side, the shell, the foot's going to be exposed. Mm -hmm. So instead of trying to attack a big old iron shell with nothing but crossbow bolts and swords and whatnot, you can attack the underside of the foot. Mm -hmm. Nice. So. All right. So that's what I'm waiting for. Well, my action could probably help with that because I could soften earth and ground, like at the angle on the side, especially how they move. So that basically, it, he'll either just fall into the fucking mud or into the dirt or something, or be able to topple from the side, being pushed on the edge. Absolutely, so, snails are known for their problems moving over soft and difficult ground. <laughs> Absolutely, do it, All kill right. it, do the thing. Okay, yeah, I soften earth and ground to like the the south of it. So are the two people are on the kind of like north side or the upper side. Mm -hmm. So just right on the edge of where it is going. Yeah. So you want to soften the earth over here, like on the this yeah, bottom exactly. half of that it. Yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of like thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's going to tip towards the mountain. Uh, away, from, away from. Away from. Which way are you trying to make this underside? Soften earth and stone. Casting time five, and you rolled a. Sure, it's fine. Close I enough. did six. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. It's good. Um. All right. The spell is cast. All natural, undressed earth or stone in the area be is softened. Wet earth becomes thick mud. Dry earth becomes loose sand or dirt. And stone becomes soft clay, easily molded or chopped. Um, so the earth here will become thick mud and probably slowly start to move down the hillside at highly viscous rates. The stone becomes clay and might mold under the shape of the, uh, under the weight of the, the creature. You affect a 10 foot square area up to a depth of one to four feet, 10 foot per level. And what level are you? Three. Three, so you can get a th three 10 by 10 squares, essentially. I mean. Yeah, which is more than enough to like affect yeah. the the whole area around the, sli the snail. Mm -hmm. And again, and it wouldn't it, even have to be the whole snail. It's just like, even if it was half on one right. side, would make it like, eh. right. 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 Ah. Excellent. Uh, and so the, the ground there begins to like slough off to one side. The snail reacts slowly to this. Um, and what does, who's next? Right after you is Brian. And I would um, take my movement to be a I'm gonna, so, yeah, yeah, so <laughs> I, I went behind the snail. I'm gonna try to hit him anyway, try to hit him under the shell in some way, even though that's gonna be pretty hard. Um, I don't know if, there's a, if this is even possible. But you're gonna try and like hit underneath the shell? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Make me an attack roll. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. You hack away with your limbs, with weapons attached to them, uh, but to no avail. The shell, the snail's shell is too strong, and its body is pulled too deeply underneath, and the best you can do is, like, hack into the mud and maybe up underneath it a little bit, but there's still, like, a clang of metal on metal as you bang against the snail. Uh uh, no, wait, did was... it make a throw against paralyzation? Throw against paralyzation? Is that in your Since spell? Was... Well, cause, because it became mud, they have to do a th saving throw versus paralyzation or be unable to move, attack, or cast spells for 1d2 rounds as they flounder in the mud. 
Any creature caught within the mud when the spell takes effect must make a saving throw versus paralysis, paralyzation, or lose the ability to attack, move, or cast spells for 1d2 rounds. They flounder about in the mud. Loose dirt is not as troublesome as mud, and creatures who are only reduced to half their normal movement speed, great. I will give it a save versus paralyzation, okay. but I'm going to give it a hefty bonus because it has a huge um, surface area to volume ratio as compared to a bipedal creature. Fair. Um, but it doesn't even matter because it rolls a natural 18. So it, it seems to hold its position and just like as the mud slides, the snail sort of like slides down the hill with it. Very, very slow motion, which is appropriate for the snail. This is probably like a death defying tumble that it's barely <laughs> able to hold on to. But for you guys, it's just like a... But it rolls well, so it doesn't matter. Uh, last player in the party. So hearing Shag say to try to tumble it over, I guess I'll drop my glaive instead of hitting with it and then grab the underside where the foot is and then just try to like lift it up. Just straight squat this bad boy over to the side. <laughs> All right, you and me. Opposed right. strength checks. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it only rolls a natural eight on the die. <laughs> <laughs> you roll a natural nine natural on the nine. die. <laughs> you, uh, you lift and tip the snail, and it topples to its side, exposing Perfect. its bottom to you. Now that it's done that, I realize I'm on the wrong side. I'm like, well, mm-hmm. fuck. Mm-hmm. And Can't that's really when the snail me. makes its maneuver. It I... uh, cocks its head towards Moo, the one who tipped it. <laughs> and it will spit giant acid at you. Giant acid. Uh, the acid is a is spat at a single target and corrodes any organic tissue, plants, or animals. It'll also destroy equipment, saving throw versus acid. The acid inflicts 4d8 points of damage, oh. successful saving throw versus breath weapon for one half damage. They can cool. use, cool, cool. so uh, they're wow, not very accurate with this attack. The first shot only has a 10% chance of hitting. The success oh. of subsequent shots depends on the distance to the target. Base chance of hitting at 90% at 10 yards with a minus 10% penalty per additional 10 yards. So it has a 10% chance of hitting you as it's being tipped over with its acid. Would you like to roll the D100? Yeah, sure. 10 or lower or... and you get hit by acid for 4D8 damage. Rolls a nine. Ooh, I told you it was a big number. It spits well over your head. It burns the mountainside as Shagrofer circles uh, around. Yeah. yeah, I run around. And then uh, I'm just going to come over here and like, oh, that's neat. Back up a little bit. Still don't like the fact that it's uh, it just spat acid. Like, oh, that doesn't look fun. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Full broadside, boys. Fire at will. Uh, this hit. Just gonna... Hit. Hit. Ooh. Actually, Double crit. crit. Double crit. Yeah. <laughs> hit. Hit. So four Too many hits. hits. <laughs> so four regular hits and a double crit. So that would seven. be 7d6 plus 7. Beautiful. Okay. Basically, Spoilers. It seven. dies. <gasps> <laughs> Uh, the snail, uh, it's just taken too much damage and it damage total. stays on its side and slowly slips along the mud into the swamp. Dead. Deceased. All right. Ex-snail pining for the fjords. Yo, dude, All right, so is like the shell kind of stuff. Yeah. is the shell like a fully solid iron thing or is are there no, sections? No, it's there? not. It's got like, it's infused with minerals <laughs> in a strange way. Okay, so this is a perhaps natural growth in some way that I don't know. But there's Maybe no like, laser some, guns. like engineered natural growth where someone fed the Engineer. snail something strange and okay. it like uptook minerals into its shell right. in a bizarre way. Uh, then the the little laser guns yes. on it. I want to look at those. Hey, yeah, dude, if you could like get some of those for us, it's probably going to be pretty chill. Oh yeah, hundred oh, yeah. percent. They I'm appear to just to be like metal pointy thingies. Metal pointy <laughs> thingies. Yeah. No like wiring connecting them at all. 
Oh, there's definitely like sections of wire that attaches it to the shell and like straps along the side of the shell and looks like it goes inside the shell, but you'd have to like break apart the shell to investigate the stuff. And because of the metallic nature of the shell, you're looking at probably a multi-day process to properly yes. figure this out rather than like just hack into it and break everything apart. Well, good thing I'm an eccentric wealthy boy and I have the money and time to do this between sessions. <laughs> True. Okay, well, you have to come back and deal with it later. Not like anyone's going to carry the shell off, right? Oh, no. Yeah. No one's yeah. going to carry the shell off. And really, all I want to do is uh, basically take that and probably make, like, install that on Nygrifer. Nice. <laughs> In some better fashion that, you know, cobalt engineering, far superior to uh, Namish engineering after I steal it from them. <laughs> mm -hmm. and make it better um, well, fact boys that. I'll have you know that there are 18.75% fewer breakdowns in Nyka forever since I've been working on them be um, between when I first got them from uh, or when he's first delivered from uh, Kyle Ranch Hammer Bench mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. well what do you want to do the giant snail is slain we did it, guys. Um, Mission accomplished. Should we bring this home? We can't bring it home. I thought we were looking for the uh, wooden golem. Yeah. We yeah. Need is this not a wooden golem, bro? We need, we need the designs of how to build this. Yeah. We don't need. The, we don't need the invention. Yeah, we just need right? the notes. Yeah. Actually, I could probably just sneak into his place and steal him. Let's see what. Right. Let's see what he's got. Mm. Let's see if we have to use that option. Yeah, you gotta have some countermeasures though that we're not aware. Yeah, of. he might. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's keep trekking forward. Can we go over, like, the way that the snail came from? Just follow its slimy yeah, path to wherever absolutely. it came from? absolutely. You hike for another couple miles through the afternoon, um, uh, as the day reaches peak brightness with the sun shining on you on these slopes, reflecting off the water. You can feel your skin beginning to burn because no one's invented suntan lotion or, um, uh, what do you call it? I don't. Sunscreen? Um, sunscreen, that's the word. Sunscreen. I don't burn. Uh, well, that's I'm because you're high. covered in fur and yeah, hide. I'm also yeah. a furry boy. boy. The furry boys and the God insect do not sunburn. The humans. There's two people. The burn. two of you <laughs> are yeah. suffering sunburns. In fact, huh. give me a constitution check to see how resistant to sunburn the two of you are. Because I just got sunburned guy. hiking and camping last week, so. I mean, mildly, but. You guys, oh, oh my file. god, Lorebringer, you <laughs> must have Norwegian stock in you or something because you are just burning all over the place. It's very <laughs> uncomfortable. Tomorrow you're going to suffer. Today, you won't really notice. In fact, you rolled a one. Roll me 1d6 for how much damage the sun inadvertently deals you. Health, it's gonna no. kill him. It's gonna I'm kill kidding. him, Neil. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's gonna kill it's him. It's just a d3 tomorrow, not a d6, don't worry. <laughs> uh, anyway, you come round the corner and eventually <laughs> you see a yep, combination yep. wooden and stone tower sticking out of the mountainside. Um, and atop it seems to be something that protrudes and swivels. Brink, 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 brink. Does it look like a giant ballista? Uh, I mean, if you're looking for a ballista, you probably see a ballista in it. Yeah. Hey, dude, can you do that, like, looking at it and telling us what it is thing with your, like, things? Uh, your mechanism thing? That Does thing. anyone have um, a telescopic sight? I have a, I have another idea. Yeah. I want to look around for some birds. Do I, can I find any birds near us? There are birds. I want to cast speak with animals. Ooh. Yes, you find a little house finch and you can cast speak with animals. I love these. And I want to look at the little finch and go, hey there, little birdie. No. Oh. I, uh, I have a couple questions for you. Yep. Um, on top of that big building over there, do you know what that thing does? Yep. What does it do? It moves. Does it, uh, does it ever shoot at anything? Does anything ever come out of it? Nope. Does it spit at people? Nope. 
It never spits at anybody? Nope. Does it, uh, does it make any loud noises? Is nope. it, uh, annoying? No, nope, it's just a branch. Weird branch, moving branch. Weird moving branch? Moving branch. Offer it some food to go up, up in front of it. <laughs> I'll, I'll look over at it. I'll pull out like half my rations. Be like, if I give you some food, will you fly around it? Yeah. I'd go fly around it and come get your food. <laughs> the bird takes off and flutters around, lands on top of the thing, hops off, kind of flutters around the front of the thing and flies back to you. I put the food on the ground and go, thanks for your help, little birdie. It eats the food. Oh. Um, it doesn't look like it shoots at just anything that moves. If it is, if it is right. a bullet or something, maybe it's more of a, a warning like the last thing. Maybe just picture the always sunny intro, the one where they get shot by the thing. <laughs> it, it could just be a detection right thing, maybe. We could yeah, we could okay. go behind it. it, it wait, it, it, so is it is it in a certain direction? Like, what kind of degree arc is it? It covers like a ninety degree arc, um, basically the hillside to halfway through the swamp. Okay. Does it have a barrel spot. at all? Does it have a what? A barrel. Like, is it? It like, is hollow? cylindrical. Yes. Aha. Would okay, it be a so, hollow cylinder? You so, are at a too great of a distance to notice the hollowness of the cylinder. I'm okay, alerting so you to this side. thing at Should its have asked the bird great... to fly into it. Yeah. Is it okay, a hollow branch? Ask the bird. What is the geography around this tower? So is it like we're still on a slight hill, there's nothing nearly as tall as the tower around it? Or Correct. is this like... Okay. Yeah. The the tower does appear to be some sort of defensive watch mechanism from which it has a clear view of everything coming around it. You uh, are at maybe 400 yards, 500 yards, 500 Okay, yards. approximately how tall is it? Four stories? Okay. I mean, it actually has like eight layers of windows, but gnomes are like half-sized, so it's actually like four human stories. Got it. There's no trees near it that are that tall, though. No. Okay. So, ab about how fast is it turning? It does a 90 degree arc in two or three seconds. Whew. It's got a pretty fast swivel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just, I'd ride past it on the horse, but you know, that thing would take me right away. Yeah, guys, like when we get close enough to details, we should be able to check if, like, it could move more than 90 degrees, right? You would see kind of a notch or something on either side of the 90. Yeah. Sure. So, so I guess we could go behind it? The, up the mountain side? Behind yeah, it? Try, yeah. Or, like, um, yeah, go along along the mountain edge to see if it, if it doesn't notice us. What are we doing here again, guys? We're blowing up a tower? Yes. I mean, maybe. Wait a second. What if somebody uh, was able to climb up the mountain with, with magic skates, right? And then go behind it. Well, that, that's why I asked about the geography. Like, if yeah. I could, I to get higher than the tower is, I'd have to go so far away that it wouldn't even be worth it. Like, well, you, but you could get, like, behind it, right? I don't know. I don't know what you're, like, you don't have to get above it. You could just, you just have to get it. Well, it's, I mean, um, so... The getting above it part is to like actually see what's up there, like see how this thing works. Like I'll be able to see it. I mean, I'll go behind it, see what I can, see what I can find out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I just so. mind like, me, Shag, but can't you just skate up the side of it and see what's actually? Well, yes. The thing is, like, I don't know what that thing does, and if I try and mm. do that, um, I might alert him to our presence before we are ready for it. Well, if you go around back and go up behind the 90 degree it. arc, do you think it'll see you as you go up there and take a look around? Uh, we can we can go check. So I'll, uh, I'll loop around. I'll leave them there. I'll loop around on my own. Uh, so you're going to leave the party behind. You're going to go up the mountain and over closer to it on your yeah, magic roller like skates. Basically circle around this guy, keeping at approximately like four to 500 yard radius. Or at five. Uh, okay, so you're gonna have to go way up the mountainside. Then you're gonna have to like skate up and over and up and over. It's gonna be a bit of a trek, fine. even on your skates. Yeah, it's fine. It's just gonna take me a while. I still have 24 move speed on them, though. Right. Um, so I'll go there. Um, I'll see where I'm at. See if it detects me. I, I'm behind it now. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Uh, so you can be up on the side, yes, the back side of it, and you'll notice okay. that it has a similar scopey thingy on the other side of the tower. So they mm. two scopes cover like a 180 degree arc. I thought you said 90. Yeah, so there's the 191 on your side, and from your perspective, you couldn't see the one on the other side. But now that he's on the back side of it, he can see that the other, the back side of the. the is well, there's two big sense? blind spots. So, so yeah, okay, there's two big blind spots. There's, yeah, there's one big blind, blind, blind spot. Well, maybe, but it's oh, not one a giant dark thing. One. One. It, could be an, it could be a 90 degree arc that's moving. And then it covers. Yeah, the we don't thing. know what its uh, field of view is, though. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, the but moment, there are two it, 90 degree arcs being covered by so two creatures. creatures. Yeah. 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 Potentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potentially. Yeah, obviously, I'm just speculating. Yeah. Right, right. The, the scope probably has a greater than. has a greater field of vision, so it probably covers slightly more than that, but this is generally what we're working with. Oh, yeah, that's two blind spots. Right. Yeah. All right, so then I'll go to. Um, I'll basically go to like, I'll keep going around. So I've kind of probably come about three quarters of a circle. Uh, so I'm kind of covering the area that they don't ever directly point at. Yeah. So you're back here. Some whoops. That's not the right button. You're like back here somewhere. I didn't see a ping. No, you drew a circle on the mountain. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And uh, I'll start getting a little closer. I'll close like 500 yards and see if there's any change. Um, I'll close another 500 yards so I get to 300 yards, see if it has any. Am I able to pick out more, uh, more details yet? Yeah, you can pick out that there are multiple windows up and down the tower, including some windows on this back side that would face the direction where you are, but there's no, mm -hmm. like, weird thing sticking out of it. Um, okay. I'm specifically see. talking about the little rotatey thing on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's only the two rotatey things there. You don't see okay. any other rotatey things on top. Um, all right, so I'll close another 50, get to 250. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I... No, no visible change. Yeah, you just get a, a better view of the creature of the, okay. the tower. You're still pretty far off, but sure. it's uh, what does it look to be made of? Uh, the bottom half is stone. The upper half is wood. Of the rotator. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Of the rotating thingy. Yeah. Um, there's only just a little bit of it sticking out of within the this like slot that it pivots within, and the part that sticks out. If you're at 250, I'm gonna need you to make me a perception check to make out these details. Sure. Nope. It's painted, so you you can't tell the material. It's, it's a little hard to tell. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll close to two hundred. Um, do any? Does it do anything? Uh, not at two hundred. You're gonna have to get to within like fifty yards if you want to make another perception yeah. check to chain to sure. notice details. Sure, I'll get to fifty or one fifty. Correction. Uh, yeah, one fifty. Everything seems the same. Ma right. More detail on the stonework and the woodwork, but nothing that's worth telling you about. All right. Uh, I'll go to touchdown distance, so 100 yards. <laughs> 100 yards that. is not touchdown distance. That's I mean, technically, touchdown. that's a full <laughs> touchdown. How many times? The number of times someone has run 100 yards for a touchdown is minimal. You'd have to be starting at the zero yard line for that shit. Yeah, I understand your already, concept. No one's gonna your get your The longest here. touchdown run, I think, is like 108 or 109. It's 109. It was 109. the Auburn Alabama game. Yeah, he literally <laughs> caught in the back of the end zone and ran hey, it all the way back. You can't count college football for this shit. Yes, you can. It's absolutely the only football, football that matters. Yeah. College? Yeah. Really? really? College is where it's at. Hell yeah. Really? College That's better than pro fun. games? Absolutely. Pro games are boring as hell. I'd rather watch college. We'll talk about this during the next break. I want to hear your takes on this. Anyway, okay. convince me for sure. But during anyway, the break, mm -hmm. I love sports ball too. Yeah, I like them both. Uh, college football is definitely more fun in some ways than pro ball. I will say that. Uh, anyway, so touchdown distance still can't make anything out. Yep. Um, Gotta get okay, to what, ab what about the tower? So it's half the bottom half is wood, upper half or bottom half is stone, upper half is wood. Yes, sir. Got it. Uh, from this side, can I see like any sort of garage mechanism? Because I'm assuming like, hey, uh, or garage sort of attachment because he's got a giant wooden golem. 
So he's got to store it somewhere. I'm assuming he'd store it in a tower. So there's probably like a garage at the bottom of the tower. Uh, yeah, but the garage is probably on the front side of the tower, not the back side Damn. of the tower. So you don't see it from here, but you do Never see know. what appears to be a roof of a building below you and in front of you on the back side of the tower. And there is a door on the back side of the tower, but it's just like, you know, a, a five foot tall, two foot wide door. Oh, so a cobalt sure. sized door. Yeah, gnome sized door. Yeah. Sure. And anyway. then like another structure at the base of the mountain. Got it. All right, all close to 80 feet then, or 80 yards. All right, uh, at 80 yards, you can make a better look at the roof of this thing. It appears to be an awning uh, attached to some structure attached to the front of the mountain, maybe a mine, maybe a workshop, maybe just like a cool chill hammock spot. Okay, uh, what about the spot. rotating thing? Can I get any more information on that? No, you need to get to 50 yards. It's just, it's still right. painted. Yeah. The black paint oh, on it disguises it. the paint material. Didn't fall off while I was getting closer. God damn it. Unfortunate. So, I'll do it's the- It's because he uses the lead in his paint. Keeps it nice and steady. Damn it. Damn it. All right, uh, 70 secrets. yards. Nope. Six zero. Nope. Like, no, no sort of, uh, no like improvement from anything. No reactions from anything, although it's probably about time that we give you a, a hide check. Oh, I like that guy. It was nice knowing him. Well, cool. It's, yeah, it, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. That's a uh, bare minimum right there. All right. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'll slowly creep closer till I can get the make out the. Yeah, as you get to 50 yards, you can give me another perception check to see if you can make out the materials of the scope. Oh, oh yeah. it's metallic. Oh, yeah. It's metallic. It's definitely shit. some sort of metal scopey thingy. Um, the side, the front of it, kind of comes out, allowing for a little bit of hollowness up there. But like the internal workings of it could be anything. It could be hollow all the way through. It could have lenses on it. Who knows? Okay. It could breathe fire. But basically, it basically looks like the barrel of a cannon. Or a telescope. Very thin cannon, right? Not like thick inch wide metal, but like a thin metal um, yeah. cylinder. We wouldn't, have, we wouldn't have the technology for thin cannons in this era. We'd have the big thick ones. Oh yeah, big thick boys. Um, yeah. But none of those barrels ever come from this side, correct? Or like correct. they never point towards this. All right. right, right. You can just see it go. <laughs> Mech has a daydream wondering if it's a cylinder or a cone. <sighs> I mean, All what's right. a cylinder other than a misshapen cone, really? Like, fat on one end, skinny on another, you know? What? It's actually really cone good, comes to a there. point, but... What if we top, chop off the point of the cone? Is it still a cone? No, it's called a... Is it a round uh, trapezoid? Yeah. I meant more of it <laughs> wider yeah. on one side than the other, but again, I'm not there. We'll Google foo and figure is out it, our shapes. Is it a conical shape or is it cylindrical? <laughs> understand it all. All right. Um, with this information, I'll slowly back out. Uh, loop oh, around back to the party. you would love to back out, but you're close to the creature. And as you begin to shift, you see behind you, lumbering down the mountainside, is a spider with swords for feet that is coming towards you. You've had your back to it, paying close attention to the castle, the tower for so long mm -hmm. that you haven't noticed How the sword spider lurking down the mountainside. Let me How roll some it? dice. It is... Oh, man, you saw it at max distance. It's at 90 yards. Not max, but near to max distance. 90 okay. yards from you, and that's where we'll take our last break. When we come back... Shag and the sword spider and the tower all in our last segment. See you guys on the other side of a break.